show you what the pros do. We hired a pro to show you exactly what they do to nitrogen tests and do all that, all the things to these units. And then third, we're gonna, sh we're gonna show you the hobo way of doing it, where you can go get a couple of tools and do a, do a vacuum your, on your own. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe. In this system. All so right. we pressurize it with nitrogen. So we got a nitrogen pressurizer on here. We've got our, uh, we've got our hookup. That's down. a special fitting on that because that is 410A, which requires that you have that adapter that will fit your core rib. So we've got an adapter. We've got an adapter right here that adapts to a uh, to regular quarter inch. So we've got a 5 16 adapter. Yeah, it's 5 16 to a quarter inch. Then you pressurize it 200 psi. All right. And you give yourself some time. Give it a little bit of time. See if you got a leak. Doesn't matter 200, 300, 50, whatever. As long as you don't see one psi or even half a psi difference, and you assume that there's no leaks. Yep. So if that moves at all, then you know that you're going to have a leak, and something needs to be done. Okay. And then what do you do once you're done? Uh, we purge all the nitrogen out, get it all the way down to zero, turn on your vacuum pump, all right. put your micron meter on there so that you can tell how, which is what this is. So here's your vacuum, vacuum micron meter. And, and what you're looking for meter. is 500 or below. 500 microns or below. Or below. So how do you hook this in? Well, the vacuum pump gets hooked in once I disconnect. Awesome. From the nitrous. Okay, so, I see. So uh, then we hook we hook this one here that's hooked to the nitrogen, and we hook it in here. For the most part, we, we hook it, it in here. here, and then we get it down to 500 microns. Requires a lot of tools, man. That's why I think somebody has got to have a certified technician come out. Yeah. Just this vacuum pump alone is 500 to 600 dollars. The platinum. You know, so we. We hook up our vacuum pump here. Okay, we get it down to 500 microns. Okay, and then what we do? We set everything down. Okay, so we're going to get the valves on the side of the unit because the, the condenser comes with all of the refrigerant required for this inside of it. So where's the valves at? Right here? There, yeah, right behind those caps. So you take have a little, uh, I think it's a quarter inch Allen wrench. It looks like this. Okay that you use for opening up those valves. So you got a quarter inch Allen wrench. Or you can use an Allen wrench if you want it, just that's a lot easier. Okay, so you take these off right here. Yeah. And you open them both up all the way. Open them both up. And then you're ready to plug in your unit. So once and you open those two start up, things up, you plug in your unit, and how long do you wait until the unit kicks on? Uh, normally it's right away, but you know, it kind of depends. Gotcha. You know, it can't be as much as a five minute delay. All right. Well, Mark, thank you for your time. Come on down. This is the uh, hobo way. If you're on a tight budget and you want to do something and, and make a vacuum, so we've got a big old wrench. Come on down here as close as you can get, Nathan. I'm just gonna we're gonna unscrew these here, and we're gonna hold on to these. But as you can see, if you look in here, there's just an Allen wrench. This is a number five Allen wrench. And this is how you open them up, okay? And we're not gonna open them up yet. We're gonna take this off down here, okay? Now, go to Harbor Freight and get you a, get you a little system like this, okay? Now, I'm not gonna tell you I'm a professional at, at working one of these, but I'm gonna show you what we can do on a tight budget to give a vacuum on this system and open it up with a vacuum, okay? So, uh, what we're gonna do, it looks a little confusing, but what we did is on this uh, red side, we just put our micron meter. These run about $130. These run about 60 bucks. And then we bought also a vacuum pump from Harbor Freight. These run about 90 bucks. So total here, we got about 300 bucks. Sometimes people pay that much just to uh, have a professional come out and, and, and do all of this. We got our mini split ready to go, come on down. So notice that it's got the middle yellow connected to the pump and then this side's open and it's reading our microns and then this blue side is connected to our unit here okay and uh, you can see we're down to 350 microns okay everything's nice and tight so what we're gonna do guys is shut our pump off okay we're gonna turn this knob right here to close
And then we're gonna open up the top unit. Okay, I don't like to, I don't like to disconnect my blue line until you wanna open it all the way up. Then we're gonna connect this line right here. Disconnect this line right here. Now that the top unit, unscrew this. All the way and actually tighten this down a little bit. Untighten this down, I should say. Just a nice little quarter turn. Okay, and we're gonna put that cap back on and tighten it down. Once, once this is done, you'll plug it in and turn it on. And then we got it set on cool. So we'll go outside, the unit should be kicking on outside. Now come on down, you can barely hear this unit running. I mean, it, you can barely hear it running. I really like that. Okay. Um, and then I'm feeling my hoses right here. They're both, they're, and uh, you gotta give us a thumbs up and say please subscribe. Please subscribe. Yeah. <laughs>